Do not panic. <laughs> Greetings, Star Wars Stackers. How you doing? I'm the Stacking Stormtrooper. If you're new to the channel, I'm a guy in a bucket talking about precious metals. So make sure you get the bell notification clicked. Get the subscribe button hit. Subscribe button hit. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. Get the bell notification clicked. So that way you get updated with any new... Uh, bleh, bleh. That way you get updated with any new content. Anyway, guys, uh, today's video is going to be rather brief. I've had some friends reach out to me due to the recent uh, surge in the silver spot price as well as gold. And uh, a couple of the people that have reached out to me have asked me, should I sell as much as I possibly can? Because this is the highest the silver prices have been basically in the last couple of years. And I've had other people say, oh, uh, I think silver is going to really uh, take off. Should I buy as much as I possibly can before it becomes too expensive? Bottom line is I say no. It's just hold what you've got and stop. Um, I understand the mentality about not wanting to miss the boat if the prices get out of control and you wish that you had purchased more when you had the opportunity. And I also understand the, the desire to sell as much as you possibly can. So that way you either uh, take any profits that you may have made off of the purchases of your silver when prices have been lower, or um, you're trying to uh, get as much value from the silver that you possibly can if you've been buying at a higher, higher price. But in my opinion, one of the worst things that you can do is purchase um, or sell anything in, a, in an emotional state. Uh, give you a, a quick story. Back in the mid 2000s, um, I would uh, day trade every once in a while um, to kill time in between sales calls. And, um, and what I would do, uh, I would dabble in uh, some blue chip stocks. I had about 70, not about, I had 75 shares of Apple stock, bought it at $44. So the prices of the the price of the Apple stock started to go up, and uh, when it hit around 55 bucks, I said, you know what? I'm gonna sell what I can, make a quick buck now, and then buy back in when the price dips. Well, lo and behold, um, Apple went on a tear, and the stock did a two for one split. Then it did a seven for one split a handful of years after that. And had I have not touched that stock and left my 75 shares alone, which I paid all in around 3,700 bucks, give or take, would be worth around 220 grand right now. So I, I always use that example uh, when I'm talking to friends and in my own mind, when I'm looking to either buy or sell, when I'm seeing a big fluctuation in, in spot prices. What you need to remember people, and if you're new to stacking, you have to remember that stacking silver and gold bullion is a long-term uh, way of life. Silver and gold bullion isn't really an investment. In my opinion, it's a way of life and it's a, a way of saving your money um, because the value of silver and gold can never be zero, will never be zero, never has been in the history of, of the metal uh, being used as, as a means of money. But you do not want to buy or sell when you are filled with emotion and filled with panic, you have to keep a cool level head approach and remember that this is a slow and steady wins the race type mentality. For me personally, um, people have asked me, Stacking Stormtrooper, at what point do you stop purchasing silver and gold? When will you stop buying it? What price is too high? And I tell them, you know, I, I'm just gonna keep on buying for as long as I can buy it um, until maybe retirement age. Because, you know, even though the price right now is at 18, I've been buying it at 14 and change. I've been buying it at 15, 16, 17. I, I just will keep on accumulating silver. I will keep on buying gold. I bought it when it was in the low $900 range and I bought it when it was all the way up in like the mid 1500s. But eventually at the, at the end of the day, uh, after many, many years, you know, things will kind of level out. I'm not too concerned about, um, you know, really losing a lot of money on the silver and gold. Again, this is not an investment for me. 
This is something that I'm doing because it's fun and it's a good way of saving money. Um, I've tended to, in the past, if I just have a savings account, um, I'll go to the ATM and pull money out. This way, I'm really not touching anything. So anyway, I'm, I'm kind of digressing here. You want to just basically cool your jets, people. Don't worry about the recent spike in prices. Continue to buy what you can. Don't worry about selling it. Don't worry about buying it. If the price goes up, just keep buying slow and steady. If you only have a certain amount in your budget that you uh, can afford and the price is going up, then buy a little bit less, but keep buying the silver and keep buying the gold. Um, you know, who knows? Maybe uh, a few months down the road, if, if prices soar, I might <laughs> be saying something different. But in the meantime, guys, the worst thing you can do is panic. Don't do it. With that, guys, I'm the Stacking Stormtrooper. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did like this video, make sure you check out that video. This video is awesome, too. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and long live the Empire.